I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Tuesday morning, the 1st of October, 2024, and this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of Genesis, chapter 18, verse 17. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am doing? Now, folks, Abraham spent a lot of time with the Lord. The Lord was about to obliterate Sodom and Gomorrah off the face of the earth. But first he warned his servant, Abraham, what was about to happen. Because Abraham spent time in communion with the Lord. We need to spend time with God if we want to hear his still small voice speaking to us. I read a beautiful little quotation from an anonymous writer who said, Abraham, in communion with God, knew long before Lot in Sodom of the destruction of that city. Oh, for more communion. Spend time with the Lord. If we look at the book of Acts chapter 9, verse 25, Then the disciples took him, that's Paul the apostle, by night and led him down through the wall in a large basket. When God is directing our operations, we are safe. The Jews were trying to kill Paul. And so the disciples led him out of the city in a basket, which they lowered down from the city wall. God always makes a way out for those who know him. You know, one of my favorite scriptures is Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. But those people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. Many years ago, I was preaching in a large stadium in KwaZulu-Natal. I made an outrageous statement. Yes, the farmers had been warned, especially the marginal farmers, don't plant your crops because it's not going to rain. El Nino is on its way. I was so angry that day on that platform. I said, to hell with El Nino. I wasn't swearing. I meant it. I'm going back to the farm to plant potatoes. Now, I didn't do it because I wanted to be a hero. I did it because I believe God wanted me to make that statement, to encourage the poor people to have faith and plant their crops. Otherwise, they were going to eat nothing. And the rest, of course, we know is history. God gave me a crop of potatoes out of dry land with no irrigation. Today, trust Jesus and he will show you what to do. God bless you and goodbye.